So we're going to start the training session. It's going to be document control, um, just regarding different topics. If I'm under document control, the items that I'm usually working with are always going to be a DMS item. The DMS item has DMS here as its code. The numbers are for each kind of document here in the system. It will only appear once. It will have all the overview of the information here. You can always upload a document here as long as it's in draft or approved. All these fields over here, you can change and adapt to what you want it to be. You have your history, which tells you all the changes, discussion, which you can use as tools, and traceability, which is when you want to connect between two different documents. All right, so that's our DMS item. So I added the test here under name. If you don't fill the name, you can't save the item. The rest of the fields are currently optional. So we have category, which will give you what kind of document it is. It's optional, some people use it, some people don't. Who it's assigned to, who's in charge of the document within your system. Um, but like I said, the only one that's mandatory is the name. So now that I've added this and I have all the different information, I can show you the electronic signature. The information of electronic signature will always show you the routing state, what the document state is in. The process that it passes is once you upload a document but you haven't sent it to signature yet it will be in draft mode once you send it to signature it will be in work and at the very end once it's signed it will be in approved the revision which is always going to be in letters but it will also give you change numbers for each letter so for example we'll go from a1 to a2 to a3 as many changes as you make to that document once you signed and it's approved, that freezes that specific revision. And then the next time that you want to change the document, it will become B1. And over here, you have the actual revisions, which it will list once you have them. So what I'm going to do right now, show you how I can easily drag this document called document template and just drop it. When I'm uploading a new document, I'm just going to write new document. So I've now and save this new document and now I can see the revisions right now this is a like we spoke about one it's my first revision of a document it will give me the routing state of this specific version code of the document and the created date so looking at the actions here you have a few options you can download the document just to be able to read it go over it open it if you decide that it's not a document that needs to be uploaded right now or it's completely the wrong document, you can delete it, but only as long as it's in draft mode. And this is the one you'll go to all the time, the download for edit, which is I'm downloading this specific version of the document. I'm gonna edit it and then re-upload it into the system. And upload it, I say made some changes. If I go now down to the bottom, it automatically changed the name of the document I uploaded back to its original name, which was document template. It changes it to A2 because it's the next stage, but it's still in draft mode because I haven't sent it to signature at all. However, if you've made changes and you don't want them both to appear, as long as you haven't signed it, you can still delete this one, all right? It will always ask you if you're sure you want to delete it. Let's Say it's been a few days, we've worked on this document, the document's ready and I want to send it to uh, be signed. Start routing. So you just make sure that the process you want is correct and that the people listed here are the right people. So now I've sent this document. Okay, routing process started successfully. Now if I'm looking at this document, I have either cancel routing. If I've made a mistake and I don't want this document to be signed, or I can sign because I'm on the list, so it, I have a sign option. Now, if I go down here to the bottom, you can see the status of the version right now is in work, okay? Because it's in process of being approved. So until this becomes either canceled or approved, you won't be able to add different versions to the system. 
Now you can also see the buttons here are slightly different. So you can download, you cannot make changes to it or upload it, but you can always download whatever version you want. The other thing you can see is the cover letter when you press this button. So basically what's really convenient about this button cover letter is it shows you the current cover letter, which means it changes all the time automatically based on who signed it and who doesn't. So you'll have your logo over here, company confidential, you'll have the revision, the number of the document, the effective date only will be filled automatically once the document is signed, the file name, the routing state right now is in work, and then you'll have the different approvals. So you'll have the job title, kind of signature they're doing, review or approval, and the name of whom and the date and the signature right now is empty because no one signed. And if you send it to four people, then you'll have four rows over here for the different people with their different job titles. And at the bottom, you'll have the different revisions. All right, so right now we only have A1, but if you had, for example, A5, you'd have a whole list here of the different revisions that have been uploaded and the change description in each of them.